Hello friends, now the notification for KAS is out. As you look forward to that date in February when you will be writing that exam, I'm sure that all of you would have started preparing for this in right earnest. Now, one of the testing areas as far as KAS is concerned is science and technology. Now, this is slightly different from all the other areas because there is no compartmentalization no textbooks generally which will give, give you an idea about what you have to prepare. But then if we just apply our senses a little and then we can make judicious use of our knowledge, we can just have a way of preparing for that and this is the purpose of this video. Now science and technology comes in paper 2 of this KS preliminary exam as, as far as the notification goes. Out of 50 questions, there is no clear-cut idea that is how many of those would relate to science and technology. But then we can make a fair guess that that would be an important area. So what exactly is this all about? Let us just start with taking a look at the syllabus. You would have noticed, you would have gone through the syllabus. You would have noticed that it talks about lots of things. In that is one area which is ICT. Now the syllabus dis like defines it ICT, ICT in day to day life, ICT and governance, ICT in industry. What exactly is ICT all about? You would be familiar with the expansion of the acronym which is Information and Communication Technology. So let us like look at uh, what exactly ICT is all about from the point of view of preparing for this exam. But more importantly, let us just take a look at the things that we already know. We use ICT every single day in our lives, each and every one of us, when we use that mobile phone, that small device, which is now such an integral part of our lives, the mobile phone. When we talk about the mobile phone, well, you would be familiar with the older name of the mobile phone or the like another name, not older necessarily, the cellular phone. Have you ever, you're, all of us are familiar, that is we use it interchangeably, mobile phone, sometimes cell phone, but then have you ever really thought about it? Why exactly is it called a cell phone or a cellular phone? Well, there is, uh, like I have heard it, that is maybe the mobile phone is a small device, it is like probably a cell, but then actually that cell comes from the cellular network, which is the basis of this entire mobile telephony architecture. Now, cellular, like, uh, so what exactly is cell? Is a area, a geographical area of radio coverage. In the news nowadays, when we look at it, we, we find that there are various generations of mobile telephony now. All of us are familiar, that is 3G, 4G, 5G. Let us look at it as a question, if you can get it in the exam. If you are given a question like this, which is the first generation of mobile telephony. If you write 1G, that is not exactly the right answer. Because as far as generations of mobile telephony go, it starts from 0G. Strange, isn't it? But that is actually the starting point of our mobile telephony. So, what is the start of this mobile telephony? It is 0G. What is 0G? They are just wireless radio devices which, which preceded the cellular architecture. So if you get a question, the start of like the start of mobile telephony, was it 1G or 2G or 3G or whatever? Obviously you're not going to go in for the later numbers, but then it is just a matter of knowing it when you're preparing for an exam like this. That is what the common people know. We would know better. It starts with 0G. The next jump in this, 1G. That is, they started using the, con the architecture of this one, which is radio cells, the cellular network. And that, is the, and that is the basis of all that we see today. 1G and then the next jump was 2G. So as 
uh, students who are preparing for this exam, what is the difference between the two? Obviously, we are not expected to know everything like what particular frequency it was broadcasting or something like that. If you know better, obviously nothing, good, nothing wrong about that. But then, just a simple thing, knowing it, that is the main difference between 1G and 2G was that 1G was analog and 2G is digital. That is the kind of thing that we are looking at when we are preparing for the science and technology section of KS exam.